We have head coach Landry Kozmalski, number 23, Vinny D'Angelo, and number 12, Cal Hansen. First off, coach, I'd love to just get your thoughts on the game. Um, you know, we just were very aggressive from start to finish. Uh, good defensive team, and we just, I think, you know, our push wore them down a little bit. We just kind of kept coming. I'm guessing to them it felt like we were coming in waves. You know, so, uh, you know, Vinny's point guard did a really good job pushing the pace. Um, everyone was running with him, and we got a lot of, um, you know, easy looks early in our offense. Uh, Cal, that's a career high. Um, how's it feel to put up numbers like that in a game like this? Uh, not that much different than a normal game. I mean, shots were falling tonight and, and shots were there, but a lot of it was just our push and our tempo. Um, as a team, we put it on them from start to finish. Um, and I think that's what made tonight so fun. Vinny, you got in foul trouble early. Uh, how does it feel to be able to rely on the guys on the bench to pick up the slack when you can't be in the game? Uh, it's just awesome to watch these guys uh, execute what we do in practice every day, you know, no matter who's on the floor. Um, so it's just, I know whenever that happens, because it does happen, um, that I have trust in all my teammates. And uh, you know, I, I'm going to fully support them and cheer them on as loud as I can on the bench. That's a season high, the first time breaking 100 points. How'd you guys do it? Um, you know, like we just said one of our goals was to really push it. We wanted to run them. Um, we felt like we had a little bit of a depth advantage. Uh, we felt like you know, teams that don't play us in conference don't know about the push, so it's kind of new to them. Uh, we thought we saw a little fatigue last night, so we thought the push would be uh, even more important. So we just that was the game plan, and the guys you know stuck to it from start to finish. Question, Penny? Yeah. How's it gonna? How's it gonna feel to play King State again? You remember how that was last year, right? How that ended? Yeah, uh, King State's a, a really good team. They've got some really talented players, and they're well coached. Um, we played them here last uh, last year in the first round of the tournament. They got the best of us. So you know, obviously, there's a, a little. Um, you know, we want to get them back, but also we're just gonna prepare like we have all year, all tournament. Uh, our coaches are going to give us a great scout, a great uh, game plan, and you know, I, I just, I'm hoping uh, we can just go out and execute and uh, keep on dancing. Hell, yeah. well, do you remember what that feeling was like, you know, the season ended? Yeah. Kyle's the first year. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was hurting for us. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did watch him. Um, oh, you were fine. All right, can we run that back? <laughs> okay, can I, let me ask Penny that. Yeah, Penny, what was that? That had to be the worst feeling in the world, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. losing is not fun at all, um, especially when you've got a program uh, like Swarthmore, and, you know, they've had a lot of deep runs, and I think that was the first time in the tournament where uh, the team's ever lost in the first round. And, you know, any any loss stings, especially when it, it's your season's last and you're, you know, you're playing in your your, uh, in front of your home crowd. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it hurts and it, it stays with you and helps you prepare in the off season in the summer. So you know, we're just hoping to use that fuel for, for next weekend. How about you, Landy? I mean, that yeah, I mean that one point. It was a one point game, yeah. but yeah. I mean, well, you know, how difficult was that? We came out of that game with just a ton of respect for Team State. I mean, I, what they did in that game, you know, from a you know, game plan, uh, psychological level, like it was the best we've ever faced. So I mean, just nothing but respect for their coach and players. Um, they've obviously had a tremendous year, so it's going to be a, an awesome challenge. Um, but also, we do feel like I'm sure they do. Like I haven't played them before. I think like we got a little bit of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a feel, a taste. Of yeah, it. yeah. Just we kind of know them a little bit better, like what they're about. I mean, we'll look at the film, you know. The, X and O's, but like really what they're about as a team, that's something we're going to have to prepare for. When you look at that that uh, video, the film of that game, I mean, that, you, you won't have to get much to motivate the guys, right? No, I mean, different yeah. year, different team. I mean, they right. got a lot of guys back. They were really young last year, which was a bigger surprise than beat us. But, um, so they got a lot of guys back. And obviously, they've only lost one game this year, so they're rolling. Um, 
and we just got to, again, we got to look at the film and remember the lessons from last year and hopefully use them next week to, to uh, do better than we did last year. What are you guys going to do with your week off? Week off? <laughs> Day off tomorrow, that's about it. And then we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. I, got, I was actually, while I was asking the last question, I was thinking, I'm like, what are we going to do this week? i got to figure some stuff out. Maybe we'll uh, see you in the off or something. Do something fun. Not, not going to Florida. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Not going on spring break, so. But well worth it. So, we're good? Okay, okay. thank awesome. you. Thanks.